Hey everybody, welcome back to Maco Mondays. Here on the truck again, getting snagged by parts, <laughs> tools, full truck like always. Look at that beautiful <laughs> green, that purple. See, purple and green, it's a good color combo, I should know. Anyway, Max right here. How are you? He's got some bits to show off. This is the dual edge screw extractor sets. Oops, sorry. Dual edge screw extractor sets. Size one to five, PNDSE5. All right, Max. So, these basically you can look on here, you gotta figure out what you're extracting. Um, you got your drill bit sizes right here, depending on what you want to do. Uh, it's got the drill and the inch that you want to go into. And then, I'm gonna use one of the bigger ones just so you can see the cutting edge. But, it's got its own center punch, so when you, you can tap it, center punch it, figure out where you want the drill bit to go, get it drilled out. Um, it is serrated, it is, it's gonna grip going left or right. And tap it in, you can use a wrench, uh, use a uh, ratchet, um, and if it need to be, um, a light duty impact. I don't, you don't wanna go putting a 20 volt uh, Mako impact on there. <laughs> I guess you could if you had to, but uh, 1600 breakaway might be a little bit extreme. But that's, that grips both ways. I sold a bunch of these. I have yet to have to warranty one, and uh, you guys like them. And uh, they go all the way down to that size. Itty bitty guy. And what's cool is you don't have to use the whole thing, so you only need that much to get in there. That's fine if you need a bigger hole. Figure out which which one goes in, which one goes in there. They're all tapered. So we've got from those all the way down. There you go. So you get a set of these. Just drill it out, and you pull the stud or the bolt that's broken off right out. And then in order to get it off, we were talking about possibly putting it in a vise and giving it like a little smack here on the back to kind of loosen it up a little bit. And it should be able to pull right out. Very nice little set. And then I'm gonna just gotta show this massive thing off here, okay? And he's got uh, two new drill bits. This one, yeah, kind of new, but I got a larger set. This is your standard drill bit set. That's a half inch. Okay, so these right here are hyper bits, okay? What's really special about the hyper bits is the cuts here on the edges. And what it does is it, it continues to cut the material. I have yet to have them walk when you're drilling. You don't need a pilot hole. And... This is a um, 17 32nd, and this is a three quarter inch hole. Uh, I'm waiting on um, one of my bigger drills to come in, and then we'll do a demonstration with this thing. And we're going to drill through a rotor, we're going to drill through something with this. Th these are lifetime warranty. These are lifetime warranty. These are lifetime warranty. That little row is not. But most times you're drilling something out to do these extractors you're going to start with an eighth inch hole work your way up you don't have to do that with these hyper steps they just go so if you're looking for extraction you've got these and these is a great combination that is very true and very very true drill everything out you got this thing yeah <laughs> yeah that is huge i got these hyper steps here and they work absolutely fantastic There we go. All right, we saved it. Yes, we did. Do we there put we, any nope. scratches in the box? Nope, it held up just fine. Okay. 
Well, there you go. There's the durability <laughs> test for the box now, too. <laughs> okay, other than that, you guys... I'm in an Isuzu. What can I say? I need a bigger truck. It's coming. Not yet, but it's coming. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for the Mako Monday. Like I said, we've got the dual edge screw extractor set, part number DSE5. Comes with the whole set, so it comes with five there. Anyway, you guys have yourselves a great rest of the week, and we'll see you next time.